What's up, everyone? Uh, there's a huge discount going on on the PSN store for PS Plus members. And I thought I'd make a video real quick just to show all these discounts. Uh, this is only going on until the 19th of January 2016. So uh, this discount sale they're having is only going to be about a week long. Uh, I decided to go for the Grand Theft Auto Classic Collection. Or not really classic, because the original Grand Theft Autos were for the original PlayStations. But uh, I would say the uh, Grand Theft Auto PS2 collection. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Uh, so in the collection you get Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, and Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas all for $17.49. Uh, once again, this discount thing that they're having is only going on until the 19th. So uh, I'm going to show you all the rest of the discounts they are having right now. And it's part of their uh, PlayStation Essentials sale or something. And where is it? There it is. PS uh, Essentials sale. So just go to that. Um, click on that, I think. And I'll, it should show you all the available games that they're having on sale until the 19th. So you get Call of Duty Ghost for 19 dollars and 80 cents uh dragon age inquisition for 14 dollars uh once again these are only available it looks like for uh ps plus members I'm not sure if you still get a discount if you are not a ps plus member but from the looks of it you get a huge discount if you are signed up with playstation plus so Watch Dogs gold edition is 20 dollars you got Assassin's Creed for Black Flag for $14.99 and the Gold Edition for $20. Um, I already have that game on the uh, physical copy. Amazing Spider-Man 2 Gold Edition, $23.39. You have Child of Light uh, Drive Club, which appears to be unavailable. Let me click on that. Yeah, unavailable. Huh. Um... Whatever that is, I think that's for uh, extra credits. If you want to pay real money to earn in-game money for Grand Theft Auto V, which I think is ridiculous. i never done anything like that before, and it's just silly. As you can see there, all three Grand Theft, or, yeah, all three Grand Theft Auto games, which I just purchased in the collection... Grand Theft Auto V, no need to buy that, because I already own that twice, by the way. I own it on physical copy for the PS3 and PS4. Um, Infamous First Light, which I already have. Yeah, Infamous Second Son, which I already have on physical copy. Uh, but the discount they are having, you can get it for like $10. Metro 2033 Redux, $6.00. Look at this, $9 for Metro Redux. Me Metro Last Light Redux, $6. Wait, what's the difference between the three of those? I never played any of the Metro games, so... Huh. Yeah, I don't know the difference. I never played any of the Metro games before. Sports fans, you can get NBA 2K16 for $44.99, or the Michael Jordan Special Edition for $53.59. Uh, Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition, which I used to have in my collection, but I traded it back to the store. I think I traded it back for um, uh, The Last of Us Remastered. Watch Dogs, $14.99. Wait. Whoa. Wait, that's $14.99. Uh, okay, Gold Edition is the $20 one. Gotcha. Yeah, I never got around to playing Watch Dogs. Um, I heard they are already working on the sequel this year. So I might jump into the sequel. From what I heard, it wasn't really all that great of a game. I mean, it, from what I heard, it's like fun, but it's nothing to go crazy over. Uh, yeah, I have that, which I got for free, by the way, a couple months ago for being a PS Plus member. Um, more Call of Duty Ghost, the Hardened Edition for $44.99, Oli Oli, $3.90, and Project Cars for $12. It 
looks like that's about it for all the discounts that, that they are having. Uh, but yeah, only thing I went for is the Grand Theft Auto collection. Which is pretty sweet. I'm really curious about Dragon Age Inquisition. For that price, that's a pretty good deal. But uh, from what I heard, it's a massive open world RPG that will take countless days to finish. And... I'm still working on Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and Fallout 4, which are already plenty enough for me for massive open world games. Um, yeah, looks like that's about it. Oh, there's Drive Club. All right, $19.99 for the full game. Uh, just browsing through here. Kingsman to Secret Service. Saw that on release day, and I bought the Blu-ray. Loved it. Can't wait for the sequel. From what I heard, they are making a sequel. And yeah, that's all the discounts they are having. Uh, once again, only available until the 19th. Um, I think they that they do mention that. In, let's see, like, for example, if I go to Metro Redux... Yeah, see in the this description right there, the price, or this price is only available until, or only available from uh, January 12th, 2016 to January 19th, 2016. And I think that, it says that for all of them. Alright, so I thought I'd make this little video to spread the word. Yay! Getting my classic Grand Theft Auto, or my... PS2 Grand Theft Auto games back. Considering that um I don't have them in my collection anymore. So it's good that they brought it back. And um the PS2 games for PS4 do have trophy support. Matter of fact, I'm curious to see what PS2 games they um they added for this month. Let's see, where do I go again? Do I go to games? There we go, yeah. PS2 on PS4. Alright. So they added Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits, Fantavision, Twisted Metal Black, Dark Cloud, Rogue's Galaxy, Pa Rapper the Rapper 2, The Mark of Kree, uh, War of the Monsters. Can't wait till they add plenty more. Which uh, it could either suck or be a good thing because I still have a lot of my games um, in my PS2 game collection and my PS3 game collection as well. Alright. So, woohoo! So, uh, you guys want to know which games I'm playing now? I'm playing Disney Infinity 3.0, the uh, Star Wars Force Awakens um, playset. And then I'm going to work on the rest of the trophies, get my 100% for Disney Affinity, of course. Uh, I was playing a little bit more of this. I have finished the main campaign. Um, still a few more trophies I have to unlock for Super Star Wars. It's, um, it's very challenging, <laughs> especially during the final part where everything is just moving super fast. I did play a little bit of that. Uh... I gotta get back to Fallout 4. I gave it a break because I thought I was almost done with it, and I found out that there was more, countless more hours to put into that game for the story. So I was like, holy shit, this game is gonna take forever. Yeah, I gotta play more of that. I gotta start that. I downloaded this, and um, yeah, I did not start it yet. So I gotta get on that. I gotta finish my um, Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. Gotta finish that. I'm getting some more Japanese games um, this year, by the way. I think I'm gonna get, um, oh, Kamen Rider. I forgot the name of it. It's Kamen Rider something, but yeah, it's from the Kamen Rider series. So I plan on getting that Japanese game later this year. For PS4, since there is no announcement of them releasing it over to the West. Plenty, plenty more games that I have. Some other games I do have that you might not see up here because I had to delete them to um, make more space available on my hard drive. 
All right, so while these download, I'm going to jump back into this and end this video. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.